Sneak around back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Okay. <clears throat> We're back in Zubuntu 8.04 LTS. And on the whole, as you know, I've got over there some few problems. And it's all working fine and hunky dory. But it is one big game changer for me, okay? One really big game changer. And maybe some of you might be able to help me out here. Okay. Okay. This is my 3D printing software that I purchased when I bought my first 3D printer, which is quite a long time ago. And it's a forever license, and I can run the software on two computers, forever and ever, I'm in, continue updates, etc. It supports loads of printers, and it is fantastic, okay? Fantastic piece of software, if you like 3D printing on your internet sort of stuff, okay? Now, as you know, I've been having trouble getting it to run in 1804 LTS. And still to this day, I'm having trouble getting it to run in 1804 LTS. Oh, yeah. Bane of my life. I'll be honest with you, this is a bit of a game changer for me because if I can't get this to run and it won't run, I've actually emailed um, the developers here, Super 5 3D, that people actually sell it and do whatever, to see if they can come up with an answer for me. But apparently, even though it's a Linux client, I don't know what they're doing really. Okay, it should work. Yeah, it should work, no problem. It's happened. It worked on 1604 LTS, no problem. Worked on Linux, Linux Lite, it worked really, really good on it even auto installed and gave me a nice little desktop icon automatically. I know, couldn't believe it. Super duper. But on this one, no. Now, before on 1604, yes, I didn't get the desktop icon, but by clicking on the launch script and launching the launch script, it would run the program for me. Okay? But at the moment, I cannot do this. Okay, okay? so if I double click it, it just comes up as a mouse pad basically nothing else even if I try and run it in the terminal okay as a launch script it won't do it, it just won't play ball with me whatsoever so I don't know what to do here really even if I go to the installer okay nothing happens whatsoever can't do it not at all first time did it it was okay yeah but the problem is I can't get into the software to like remove the license from this machine if I wanted to. There is a long way around it, but it's just a pain at the posterior. I don't like doing it, okay? So this could be a game changer for me. If I can't get this software to run, yes, I've got other 3D printing software, but this is the best one for my printers, okay? I don't get hardly any failures whatsoever. Very, very, very few. So yeah, that's unfortunately, if this is not corrected in the next month or two, as I said, I'm gonna give it till July. If I can't get it to run, It'll be busy by, yeah, busy busy bantu, unfortunately. And the next like four has just been released. Now I'm humming and iron with to put on an older drive to see if it'll work on one of my older drives, and see how it runs and if it installs all my 3D printing software because I have about five or six different bits of software that I need to run for it, and not just that, some other stuff for designing that work fine on Linux Lite and 1604 with all workaround. So, any ideas, guys? let me know it'll be really really good otherwise after about 30 40 days bye bye farewell you're gone but i love you Ubuntu. back to linux light i know so yeah sneaky linux out i'll see you later bye bye